So my practice is primarily orthopedic trauma, and what that means is I take care of people that are injured in all sorts of accidents. The types of injuries that we take care of could be anywhere from some, all of someone's extremities being broken, their pelvis being broken, uh, joints being broken, particularly around the hip, the knee, the ankle. Uh, we take care of spine fractures. We take care of essentially a whole constellation of injuries as well. So when we talk about trauma and orthopedics, we're usually talking about fractures, and that's broken bones. Um, sometimes we're dealing with bones that are a relatively simple break, and then sometimes we're talking about breaks that are more complex. And some of the more complex breaks need to have surgery that's staged, meaning we do one surgery when the patient first comes in and then two or three weeks later there's the definitive surgery is being done. Um, oftentimes those fractures that we treat in a delayed fashion, they tend to be a little bit more complex. They tend to involve more of the joint surfaces uh, around the body. And that requires us put the joint surface back together to make the joint stable and also reduce the risk of arthritis in, in the patient and allow them to start moving and get up and become ambulatory. If we treat fractures in casts or splints definitively, a lot of times people are limited, particularly if they have three or four limbs involved. You can imagine being in, in casts all over your body. It doesn't, doesn't really work that well. So that's one of the things that we'll do is we try to fix these fractures so that we can get people up and moving and back to their functionality as soon as possible. When we're talking about taking care of fractures, I think you're probably best served being in a facility that sees this type of thing every day instead of once or twice a year. And our staff, our surgeons, our uh, uh, entire facility is used to seeing these types of injuries on a day-to-day -day basis. And I just, there's a, there's a level of comfort there uh, in caring for these injuries, and I think that translates into uh, uh, increased level of care for, for the patients.